Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very different and I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really gonna try to not edit this video because I want this to be really real and honest. And as you can tell by the title, I will be leaving YouTube for a bit. And this is actually something that I've been thinking about for a while, probably since the spring when everything with COVID happened and um, I didn't know if I was going to vlog because we obviously had to be at home, but I decided to keep vlogging and try to be positive and it kind of worked out, but it was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. And this year, this past year I should say, has been a lot. I think I've talked about a lot more heavier topics. I've talked about um, narcissistic abuse and my past with sexual assault and things like that. And uh, this year I finally just started doing more research into getting help, going to therapy. I've talked to you guys about that and I've actually tried to make an appointment probably like five times. And yesterday or the other day, I actually made an appointment. So I'm going to be starting my, I guess I should call it mental health journey. And I'm really excited to start that. My appointment is in three weeks. So I'm preparing myself for that. And I'm very excited because I already have a hunch as to what I would be diagnosed and I don't want to go into it right now because I want a professional opinion obviously and it uh unfortunately I have to edit this video because I'm losing my thought so thanks to TikTok I actually found out what I think I have and it's wild because before this year I was not on TikTok and during the whole quarantine I ended up on TikTok and um I feel less alone, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, so with leaving YouTube, I have actually been thinking about this for probably like three months and it's something that I've never done. I've been making YouTube videos for about 10 years straight. I've been consistently inconsistent. I have never niched down. And throughout the 10 years, obviously I've changed and people have talked about YouTube burnout and I'm experiencing it. I have experienced it. I've gotten bored and changed up my videos and decided it wasn't right for me. And I just want to get back to who I was before I started YouTube because editing videos and doing makeup and things like that it is fun and I am actually privileged in a way that YouTube isn't my job and I've also thought about what it's like to just not be a YouTuber and I can do that because YouTube isn't my main source of income like by any means. It is fun when I get paid and I've never done a sponsored video. I've only gotten free stuff sent so I want to know what it's like to not constantly be thinking about content and making thumbnails and things like that, just everything that has to do with YouTube. And it's mainly because I can see that my personal life is being affected and I am always thinking about when I'm going to film and when I'm going to edit. It all takes a lot of time and I'm sure you know if you do create content and maybe you've heard from other YouTubers, um, it takes a lot of time. And it's come to a point where I'm not seeing people in my personal life, I'm not keeping up with personal relationships, and it's all because I'm thinking on my days off, um, I wanna film this day, edit this day, and then I end up not seeing anyone. And obviously this year has been different because of you know having to quarantine and I see like the people that I see, just a few people outside of work and whatnot. So that's why, and maybe this will be a wake up call to any of you guys. It's why I decided to make this video. I could have just, you know, ghosted and not uploaded 
maybe no one would have noticed, but I wanted to make this video for that reason. And also, with this mental health journey, I want to do this offline. I just feel like having no pressure from creating content would be the best thing to do. So it's very exciting. And honestly, this past month has been a very different month for me. It's my favorite season and I'm out every weekend playing disc golf with family and it is just so different and I do have less time to create content but I feel like so good when I'm out doing stuff and I'm not thinking about vlogging and stuff like that don't get me wrong I love vlogging and that's why I made a separate channel and I even mentioned that I didn't know what I was doing with that it's all very complicated so yeah that's what's going on <laughs> another reason that i want to take this break is because throughout this span of time that i've been making content here on youtube i feel like i've lost my why my why used to be to help people with acne because i have a lot of acne I actually like right now don't have a lot going on i don't have on foundation i have on concealer in a couple spots and blush and bronzer but like, I feel like I don't have acne. I have it under control for the most part. Um, and my passion for makeup has shifted a lot and it's grown into other things. And that's why my content is all over the place. So I feel like I've lost my true why. And I'm hoping that when I do come back, I have a better idea and I have a fresh perspective because I've always thought about, you know, what if I do videos this way, that way, and was more myself because I can look back on my videos and see the influence from other people. And I look back and it's very cringy, but these are videos that get a lot of views, so I don't um, delete them because they're helpful videos. So I just, I leave them up. So that is one thing that I am hoping to gain. I'm hoping to gain my why, or hoping to learn my why, and hopefully when I do come back, I am more myself because as much as I think that I'm myself on camera and in vlogs, um, I also think that I'm not because I'll watch other people's vlogs that remind me of myself when I'm not filming and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that. Why can't I be like that on camera? So I start to question my confidence and uh, there's just uh, this uh, piece that's missing. So I want to fix that if I can. And so with this, I will be on Instagram. I actually used to post on Instagram a lot. Past five years has been like so rocky. It's really sad and in my in the back of my head i'm always thinking like oh i don't want to post on instagram because there are people like that i know personally that follow me there and it's a bit awkward like there are you know friends on there that don't care about makeup or like dudes they're just like people that just know me um and i want to post about fashion and beauty and things like that and it feels weird but like it's my page so I don't know why I have this weird thing in my head and I've created another account that was for my Harry Potter and like all my nerdy things. So it's all a big mess. And my confidence on Instagram is so different from YouTube. For some reason I can talk to the camera and upload videos on YouTube because I know people are, or they have to seek out my YouTube channel, but on Instagram it could just be presented. And that's it. Like very weird so I will be on there I'm going to try to be on stories so if you want to go watch me on there just to like keep up um, I do enjoy vlogging on there when I get to so I'll leave well that link is always down below if you haven't checked it out and I hope you all have a good next couple of months I really don't know how long I'll be gone for this is so scary because I've never pur purposefully not vlogged or made videos and I'm actually scrapping a couple videos so I can upload this one.
so that is it and uh thank you so much for your support as always it truly means so much to me and it means a lot um that you watch this video and if you comment all the time i i notice you um i truly do and it makes me so happy when i recognize your comments so thank you so much and i will see you guys whenever bye